important starting point is the basis of uh, some financial qualification at the, at the level you're recruiting at, but um, could be part qualified or qualified, um, but getting a qualification or you're on the way to getting a qualification is key. And then um, obviously the, the going hand in that in hand with that is is experience. So um, are you experienced in the role that we're recruiting for? Personally, I like loyalty and roles, so not people that have skipped around every year. So I like I like some kind of loyalty. It doesn't have to be years and years, but something. Um, no one explained gaps in the CV, but if there are any, don't be afraid to really communicate what that is because you know we're all human there's always a backstory to everything but not having an explanation for it um can be a put off i like seeing progression within roles and that probably comes a lot if you've got the loyalty point as well so i, I like to see that um and i like to see achievements as well so that's what i like to see for and see these if I were recruiting a financial accountant on their CV, I'd look for experience of reconciling accounts and performing analysis, and I'd all, always expect a strong level of Excel capability. Obviously, the breadth of, um, uh, of experience that they've had, uh, different situations, particularly difficult situations that they've been exposed to, relevant experience to uh, the company I'm recruiting for, and results that they've achieved against the challenges that they faced. If I was recruiting a financial accountant, um, particularly for a medium to large business, then um, qualifications, something similar to ACCA level, um, where they've been exposed to the studies and the theories of um, tax, statutory reporting, regulatory, regulatory reporting, anything like that. Um, evidence of attention to detail would, would be key to a CV, so similar roles. Um, and even regulatory or statutory re reporting experience. If I'm looking to recruit a financial accountant, what I'm really looking for is, does that individual have a good grounding in accounts and corporation tax? Are they seeing a wide breadth of things? I don't mean they need to be an expert in both areas, but some good current understanding and knowledge. Um, you know, most FDs have been through the course, they know, know the rough ideas, but they're looking for some fresh fresh thinking on you know, what are those rules? How do we apply those rules? On recruiting a financial accountant, one of the key aspects I look on the CV is how they, um, their skill sets from an analytical perspective is that they have the, the experience and the backgrounds uh, of a financial accountant, first and foremost, that's one of the key factors. The CV has to be concise uh, with good presentation. So you need to be able to see in an opening paragraph a very even brief snapshot of what that person is and, and, and who they are and what they want and where they're going. Um, then I always look for, for bullet points in terms of roles and, and responsibilities, not big paragraphs, um, two pages overall. I like to see a split between roles and responsibilities and achievements. Um, and it be clearly defined in, in terms of each 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 of the roles. I think the second bit is um, the, 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 the candidate sort of selling themselves and selling what they can bring to the role. Relevant experience matched the role I'm advertising. That applies to every role, but it, in, particularly in this one. And, and specifically, I think technical skills, but um, they must be allied with the ability to communicate.